let's create some textures in our fabric paints pretty much as you would do if you were going to do a background or a border um, maybe more border than the background but it depends on the style of the uh, fabric that you're doing quite often if you are painting something as big as a tablecloth by the time you get to the background and border you've actually got past the fun element of it um, where you've painted the design and you're starting to think gosh I just wish this project was um, over quite quickly and by creating texture in the background you'll find that you're able to move on quite quickly now the fabric paint that I'm working with um, has extender that's been mixed into the actual colors so if you're not sure what extender is please go back onto my channel into the playlist and just have a look at that video on it you'll find that it's very useful to have understanding of what extender does and how it is made up into the paints and what your options of that are so let's just start with a few basic um, tools that you might have lying around if you've got a paintbrush you can use the back of that and you can create really nice patterns just by scratching into the actual paint um, this is a very easy way to bring design into your um, painting then if you've got a comb you can use the comb in a variety of different ways by creating texture and pattern or you could just simply do waves like this and because the teeth of this are evenly spaced your waves are going to be nice and evenly spaced you've got all sorts of things lying around the home like these takeaway knives where you've also got little markings on them that can be used for creating patterns and these you can see will do a much tighter wave then you've got things like your palette knives which you would use if you're doing mixed media and these can be used to scrape into the paints you can be used to also do wiggly lines you can do curves with them because you can actually basically put this down on the fabric if you like and just spread it around and you'll see now that you go from having quite a dark color here to a slightly more textured color and if you're not happy then obviously you can cover that over and then you've also got your good old little sucker sticks which you might have had some lollies if it's nice and hot and you can create patterns with those so you can go from something very simple drawing just a doodle kind of a shape or you could actually create an actual image like a simple little daisy you could do leaf patterns by scratching in and you'll see that all of this adds a different dimension to it now just a word of caution when you start out with your fabric painting one tends to want to actually go wherever you've got these slightly thicker lines of fabric paint and you want to brush them all smoothly because you think it doesn't look nice they will soak into the fabric but they are going to create light and dark texture and you'll find that especially like designs here where you've got this thick bit of paint on the outside of this light area it really adds very nice dimension to your work so don't be in too much of a hurry to actually take it all out whatever your little doodle paddles, patterns are that you perhaps scribbled on the back of a notebook you can use um, yeah just play around as much as you can because it really is a fabulous way of creating a background and as I said in my previous tutorial on extender if you don't like what you've done simply brush over it and because you've got the extender in it is forgiving and you're then able to carry on and try out something new with the next design okay the sky's the limit you can try anything out you could press a sieve in you could try a strainer you can try any kinds of textures that you like have fun and please I'd love to hear from you so just comment if you've tried this and give me your your feedback on it um, next thing that's important is let it dry naturally don't be in too much of a hurry to use the hairdryer unless it's just the last little bit of drying that needs to be done let it dry naturally and then always with your fabric paint once it's completely dry iron on the reverse side with a hot dry iron for two to three minutes and that fixes the color into the fabric so that you're able then to wash it okay have fun